Would you like a collection of second grade lab lessons? Well, I have the document for you. Um, this is a giant second grade hyperdoc. Uh, every week I post a new lab lesson on here. And this tutorial is going to kind of walk through how you can use this with your own class. Now I got a seven week head start on you because my first time working with second graders um, with technology and I'm learning a lot about um, how much we can accomplish in one lab session. So uh, a lot of experimenting on here and taking some risks. So you'll see our first lab lesson was in September. Um, and it's at the bottom of the document each week on Monday night I add a new lesson on here. So in order to use this you want to be sure you keep this document second grade lab lessons template copy in a safe place. Um, the URL to this is um, bit.ly forward slash bit.ly forward slash second lab lessons and the second is a 2nd. Um, and so you can find that and bookmark it, and every week you'll see what I've added new to it. Uh, in order to get this document ready for your students, though, first thing you need to do is go to File and make a copy. And I would change this name now, uh, take off the template copy, because that can be confusing knowing which one is which. And I put your class name here, so I always call my class Highfield Crew, Second Grade Lab Lessons, and OK. Um, I take a second to load. Um, and and while, you, while you're looking at this, uh, I'm going to show you some of the lab lessons. I usually do two to three activities. Um, notice that there are no open links. Everything is a covered link. So when they uh, click um, on here to go, it will take them to that document. Um, you'll notice, though, when I click on it, it shows the link. When the kids click on this, it'll be view only. It won't show that link. This um, is getting... Uh, thinking that I want to um, edit this link, change or remove the link. So when the kids are on it, it wouldn't be like that. Uh, it's very handy for them to just uh, visually see what their tasks are, what the lesson is for the day, and they can um, jump on the document, uh, and you can break it up between a guided lesson, talking about the mouse. I realize they have, are so used to using tablets and trackpads that we had to do a little mouse lesson because that right click is very tricky for them. Um, it kept popping up. Um, and then they can go through and I love for them to explore. We did create a character with the Peanuts character because that was practicing the mouse. So give them a fun way to play, uh, practicing their skills. Uh, and, then, and then we tried a drawing program. So you can see each week it kind of builds upon another. Um, and you can pick and choose which lessons you want. All right, so now that it's loaded on my other document, oh, it's going to reload because there seems to be an issue. Um, you have to get this one ready for, for your class, and you want to make sure that it is view only um, when you're um, using it with your class. Uh, you don't want them to go on and be able to edit your lessons. And so um, the first thing you're going to do is... Um, click on the blue share button up in the top right corner and if you're in your domain um, you know working within your um, school district's domain which I am not right now you have to be sure to set it appropriately appropriately for that uh, and so what you'll do is you'll click on advanced and right now it's private only I can access I'm going to change this and mine says um, only three options. If you're in your domain, you'll have many more options. But I want you to be sure to click on uh, on anyone with a link can view only. So you want to keep it can view. That way kids can access this at home and they don't have to be signed into their account to view this document. Um, so then you can say done. Now there's the link to share. Uh, and we'll talk about um, at the end. You can also take the link from the top up here. Um, you want to shorten that URL, and uh, sort of like I've done on all these lessons. Um, you'll notice, though, uh, one of the first things you need to do is take off my shortened URL. Uh, that one, the bit.ly second grade lessons, uh, I'm sorry, that's second um, lab lessons, is the bit.ly to get to the, the um, uh, document that I'll be adding to each week. Actually, the first thing I would do is take off all of these lab lessons all the way down to the very first one. So if you want to use this right away with your students, um, I'm only going to give one lesson at a time. And so I'm going to 
delete all of these to uh, get to that first lab lesson. And it left a table for me. So I'm going to get this off of here. And there we go. All right, so now I'm ready to go. Um, of course, you want to change your date to when you're um, you know, going to be doing this with your students. So today is the 27th if I was getting ready. And you can um, put the emphasis of the, whatever you're doing that day. That's kind of what I choose. Now, if you don't want to do International Dot Day because it was a long time ago, you can just click in the box and see that these are images, and now you can delete them. You can also just highlight all the words and delete that also. Now, you could go back and look at um, something else we've done. Now, I'm, I'm back on the template copy. I've switched over, and maybe I want to take this... Um, uh, mouse lesson. I want to put it on the first lab lesson you're creating. So if you click on the image and do Command C if you're on a um, Mac, and that will give you uh, enable you to copy it and um, uh, Command V to paste. You can also do uh, Control C and Control V to paste. It will put the image right there for you. I can go back to the template copy, and I can highlight the words and copy them, and go ahead and paste. Now it'll paste that link for Bees and Honey. It'll come with it as well. Now you may not like that space there in order to fix it. If I'm clicked in the table, all I have to do is go to Table and Table Properties, and I can change this cell to Center. I want it to be centered, and it will move it down there. You can also change the font um, and create it however you like. So that's your first lab lesson. So each week that um, you check the template copy, you can um, add a new lesson. So let's say I'm skipping this lesson, and I want to add this one on. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing, the whole table, just like this, and I'm going to again uh, copy. You can also go to Edit and Copy. It's another way to do it. And you're going to go into your, uh, your lab lesson document, and you're going to paste it in. You can go to edit and paste and it will be right there. And it will just paste it right on top. Now I made sure my cursor was above the last date, so it was on the top. Now you'll see that it leaves a little bit of spacing. I'm just gonna hit return until this gets down on its own page. Now I'm ready to go. Again, change the date. Please take off this shortened URL and uh, you can um, change the date according to what um, date it is for you, and then try the activity out. You'll see we're going to follow some second grade lessons. Maybe you're not on this at the time. Uh, you might want to come back to this lesson and try it later, or just let them explore. Again, this is a thing link. I wanted them to practice their mouse skills while learning a concept. Um, so again, each week, if I want to go back to the next lab lesson, I can do that as well. We, we learned how to take a screenshot. Um, you'll see it's kind of specific to the lab that I'm working in, which is a Mac lab. <clears throat> I apologize um, for that. If um, Just change your lesson um, and tell what you need. Now something else to notice is that um, a lot of times you'll see this yellow um, posted in the lab lesson. It says, post your picture, picture here. I've leave, I'm leaving you instructions on what to do when you get this kind of instruction. Um, add a link to a Google slide deck um, to the word here. Uh, be sure to leave the share settings open to anyone and the kids can add it in. When you um, go to copy this, um, be sure to delete this part right here. Uh, I'll show you. So if I'm going to um, take this whole lab lesson and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it into my next. Again, I'm going to put my cursor above that date and paste it in. And I'm going to fix it because, again, it's on the same page. So I'm just going to move that down, and I'm going to fix this one. So I'm going to take off that shortened URL. And over here, I want to take off this highlighted yellow. So there's a couple ways you can do it. If you highlight the whole thing, you'll see this will show up for text color. You can click on Highlight and say None, and it takes it all off. Or you could have just deleted everything and then retype the word here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the instructions. Now, if you have a link to a um, um, to a slide deck that you've created, so you can go into your um, slide deck 
and you click new and create a new slide deck um, and then it will give you that link be sure to open the share settings so the kids can um, use that presentation uh, take the link from the top and then um, come back here <laughs> highlight the word here and then you're going to click on the link to insert the link to that slide deck you just made and paste that link in and then apply. Now, when the kids come to your lab lesson, it's really easy for them to get onto a collaborative slide deck. They can just click the word here and it will open up that slide deck. Uh, when they arrive at the slide deck, I usually have it all ready with one slide per student. And for second grade, it's kind of nice when you put their name on the slide ahead of time. That is something I have learned. Uh, so that is kind of the gist of our lab lessons. Uh, you'll see each week um, uh, it might be thematic on what's going on uh, in the classroom, or it might be according to what season it is, or just something we've been working on. Um, uh, you can do this as whole class instruction. You can let the kids explore. I do have video tutorials on here that teach them how to create the digital portfolio, but if you just want to do it yourself, you can open up the tutorial. This is definitely something that I have to teach the kids how to use. So I'm going to turn this off because this is a double tutorial. So uh, push pause, pause on this. Um, and I teach the kids how to have two tabs open so they can go between um, both tabs and learn how to um, do this Google presentation uh, set up for their portfolios. Um, I hope you enjoy the lab lessons and uh, send any feedback or lessons you'd like to see in the future. Thank you.